guys, James here today, and welcome back to Let's Build a, what do we call this, a modern beach house or something? Even though there's no beach involved, but there's water, so... Is there any beaches around here? That's not even a beach, it's just grass and water. No, there's no beaches. Oh, nice. I like how, I like how if you look that way, you can tell how flat that is. But let's not look, let's look this way. Because this way looks better. Nice. Hey, welcome back. Uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to, uh, what is, okay, sorry. So it's been, you, you may have noticed, it's been a little while since we did the last episode. So the last few weeks, basically, pretty much all of March, I've been incredibly busy, uh, with, a, I was traveling, and then as soon as I got home from traveling, I was in the process of sorting out moving, and then I just finished moving. There's still a bunch of stuff to unpack currently at the new place, which I'm in now, but I have time to make videos again, which is good. Anyway, my point was that, um, it's been so long since I recorded this last that I'm, I'm looking at this, I'm like, what, why do we have, like, five different types of foundation here? Like, what is going on? Like, we got, <laughs> we got the retaining wall here, then we got this, whatever that is. Then we got this one, which is different to that one. And then we got this one, and then that one again. Okay, let's just change it all to the same stone, because... Because I feel like this sort of matches the environment quite well, in terms of, like, you know, the, the old-school aesthetic. And that's what we're going to roll with. Um, so, comments from last time, you guys were pointing out that, uh, yes, indeed, there were totally tiles that I was looking for. Um, and, yeah, these sort of uh, Sparta ones have that sort of sandstone-y kind of look and color that I was after, so I don't- I'm not quite sure why. I- I don't know, I- I know these that are there, like, I, I use them all the time. Um, I've used them a lot. So I might actually just roll through and repaint the bottom floor. Actually, I might change that bit because that sort of continues up, we'll see. Um, you just want to repaint- okay. Repaint the bottom floor- what is- what's with the lighting there? I'm not sure, because it's not like the shadow- oh, actually, you know what, I guess it is kind of shadowed. But then why would that be shadowed? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's not worry about that right now. Okay, so that's there. That's the. Is that a different room? No, it's the same room. Good. All right, looking pretty good. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> right. So, uh, general comments from last time were that I was having a breakdown over the stair placement, which keeps getting messed up. Although now it's fine because we sort of just adjusted all the. Um, I don't know. I actually don't know why I'm using these stairs. Uh, we should probably change that. What kind of stairs do they? Wait, do they even use stairs here? Oh yeah, they do. Over there. Hang on. Give me that. Uh, so this- oh, that's not stairs, that's a ramp. I don't- no, they don't- I don't think there are any stairs in the world. Do any worlds in The Sims 4 have stairs that Sims actually use? Because maybe that's just not a thing that they actually have anywhere in worlds. Hmm. Alright, well I guess we can just improvise with stairs. I just don't think that those, uh, jungle adventure stairs were the, uh, correct ones. I guess they're stony, but they're- uh, Like, this is clearly a modern build, so it should be a modern take on the old school ways, you know? That stone doesn't make any sense either. Probably just like a standard stair. What does this look like? This get famous one. No, no, no. We don't we don't want marble everywhere. What about the the sturdy stairs? What are we looking like here? I mean it just looks like that kind of looks like a stone, doesn't it? What is this? What does it actually say? Solid and uncompromising. Sure. Uh, I do want to change the color of that though. That is too too clean. Maybe this? Was that? Okay. Thanks, game. How, how could you think that that's what I wanted to do? Like, in what in what world would I want that? <laughs> Idiot. Okay, come on. Uh, yeah, that's probably right. Uh, let's roll with this for now. Um, and then, I don't know what we'll paint the sides of it, because I guess you can't really see it. Maybe for now we'll just do it. Oh my god. Alright. Alright. So last time you guys were like, it's like 40 minutes of me breaking down over stairs, and here we are again. Four minutes in, and we're having- So wait, can I- <laughs> Okay, hang on. So if I do this, and then I do this... Oh, they don't go back- Okay, you guys... I love terrain editing, but can you make the stairs work properly? Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's my new plan. We do this, then we paint the stairs, before they have a chance to mess up, then we drag them out. And now, as long as we never touch them again, or anything near them, we'll be fine. <laughs> All right, there we go. I think those are a better a better fit anyway, especially like here like this looks ridiculous having these stairs uh, Wait What why does it have a whole platform on the top? Whoops, I, I don't understand that. Oh, all right You know what it's gonna be it's it's one of those things where look if we if we, <laughs> If I keep trying to like figure out what's going on with the stairs, we're never gonna do anything else now feedback on this part 
Well, it's generally okay. You guys are like, yeah, that looks all right. Uh, because obviously the, the issue was that this door overlaps those windows. Um, but it's not that big of a... Like, it doesn't look that dodgy. Um, it's a bit strange just because there's not really any rhyme or reason why you would ever design something like that legitimately. But... In the game, I mean, that's fine. You're not really going to notice it anyway. Uh, but there was a pretty much a, almost unanimous, well, definitely not unanimous, but so many people suggesting that we should just open uh, the second floor up for that door and just have a big sort of atrium area, which I agree with 100%. But then it's like, well, what's the use of the upstairs? There's nothing up here. I guess it could just be like a loft office area or something like that. Because basically, here's the problem. Like, so let's say I do this. Okay, give me, give me the fence. Just... Okay, for God's sake, there we go. Oh, wait, oh, oh no, no, we're gonna, no, I can't complete that with a fence, because you'll see, oh. Wait, why are those roofs still there? Hang on, I think it's just glitched. What? Did you see that? How does moving this roof delete those stairs? Are you... <laughs> what? Hang on. We need to move objects on. That would probably stop it doing that. Nope, it didn't. Okay. Did I move objects off? How... In... Oh, my God. All right. All right, stairs, let's just leave them to the very end. Uh, <laughs> in That's not even the same level. This is like on the third floor. Okay, here, look, here's ground floor where those stairs are. Here's the first floor. Here's the second floor. <laughs> what? Okay. Anyway, so we can't do a fence there. That's fine. I'll just do a wall, I think. Let's just do a wall for now. Anyway, let's just carry on. Let's just let's move on with our lives. Okay. So, we were going to have this door come in here, be a little bit of a sort of privacy door kind of thing. Uh, and the question is, do we just open this up and have it all sort of open and looking through? Or do we, for example, okay, can I have some grids? There we go. Do we just have the wall here, do the same sort of thing? But then it's like, well, what do I do with that space behind it? There's no point because there's nothing there. So, we might even need to go, because I definitely don't want to... I like the wall there. We could we could keep the wall on the ground floor there. I think that's probably fine. Maybe what we do, we get rid of this bathroom that we were going to put there, which I, I assume that was a bathroom. I don't exactly recall, but probably was. Uh, and do something like that. So just have the wall there instead. So obviously, if you stood here, you can kind of see into the house a little bit, but whatever. And then that just means you can walk around both sides of the wall. Uh, that's probably a little small. Maybe we could extend that bit of the house just a bit, because I don't want to make that smaller, because... Then it sort of lines up with the door there, and it's not in the center, and it's kind of annoying me. So I'm thinking maybe we just extend this way one, like so. Uh, can I just do this? My idea was if I put that there, then I can just do that. Yeah! Nice. And then we extend this bit, and then we go up here. Uh, yeah, we didn't extend that. Okay, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Wait, is this going to delete stairs again? <laughs> Alright, so that's going to go there. Alright. Oh, wait, no, but then that's not in the center, is it? Hmm. Yeah, that defeats the whole purpose of that door. Right, yes, I see. I see where the issue arises. Right. Uh, well, I mean, look, doors don't have to be centered, but it also just looks better if they are. All right, so... Hmm, I guess that's why that bathroom there was good. We just keep the bathroom there. But then we got this area up top. It's like, what do we do? You know what we could do with it? Um, where is that? Okay, so there's a roof there. I'm wondering if we could do... Where's that fence? Give me that fence. What if I do this, right? Oh, that one comes through there, though. The weird thing is, like... I'm not even sure why I can't see the top of the roof, you know? Because this is always a glitch where if you put a fence through a room and complete a room, the roof would appear inside, but for some reason we don't even see the actual top of the roof. We don't see the trim, so can I get- what if I got rid of the trim? Oh, no, now we just see the roof. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, now the roof is just there all the time. Right. Okay, well... You know, it was a, it was a good idea. Um, Alright, so we gotta figure out how we are gonna have this open to the floor below. Um, And then, do we just leave it like this? And do we end up with a bunch of wasted space that we can't do anything with? Or do we go back to this whole bathroom idea? Maybe just put a wall here instead on the second floor, but then... But then you get to the point where it's like, well, what the hell is the point of this space back here? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. So then maybe we just do a wall like this that goes across that section, and then... What is the point of this? <laughs> you end up in the same position. We actually, you know what, we might be able to do a fence now. What if we did this? 
oh, that roof is still there. I was like, maybe there's no roof coming in anymore. And then we just have a balcony here or something that at least get access to that room. Um, okay, so this, is there anything we could do about that roof? We, we might be able to play around with it. What if we, okay, why don't we just expand this? Because then we can make this area, number one, usable. Um, and then we can actually make that area make more sense. So if we do that, it comes a little further out. It basically looks exactly the same still. I mean, obviously it comes further forward, but it's still fine. I guess this roof doesn't need to go as far back anymore. Although it kind of looks cool though. Like, I don't mind that going all the way through. Uh, now, we've only just got this section here that's an issue. So I think we could probably even just... Well, does that, that roof doesn't even need to be there anymore, does it? No reason. Like, why was it even going there? All it did was cut into that bit. I don't know. Anyway. Whoopsie daisies. Doesn't need to be there anymore, so we'll just put it there instead. And then... Boom. Beautiful. That's better. Okay, so now, what we gotta do is just go build floor there. Then that area is floored. Uh, not floored as in bad, but floored. Floored. There's an R in there. Uh, so we can walk there. And then we have the door and, and entrance here. That is just a big area of light. So basically you end up with just a little entrance foyer and atrium. Not particularly grand, but then to be honest, like this house, like while it, I guess it physically looks pretty big. Uh, it's not actually that grand when you when you sort of look in the inside. I mean, I, well, I say that like this is massive compared to anything I've ever lived in. Uh, <laughs> oh, especially that floor. But I don't know if we'll use all of this floor. I, we haven't really figured that bit out yet. Um, yes, yeah, so it's not. It's not like supposed to be some sort of grand grandiose mansion or anything, but it, uh, I think that's okay. Let me know, obviously. As per usual, let me know your comments and feedback. Put some floor in that room. So we can now use this room probably as what we were going to use it for. Weren't we going to do like the master bedroom and stuff up here? I don't know. You know what? It might not look that good though, because window wise, I don't know how we're going to, what windows are we, oh, we're using these tall windows everywhere. Do we have, we didn't have any, oh, we used, no, we just used those too. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess we, look, we might be able to, let's see. So let's say I use, let's just line it up with the existing windows there so then it sort of looks similar. I don't know if we need anything on the side, probably not. Um, it looks fine from the outside because there's a roof there, but when you look from the inside and you sort of see into the roof, it, it's just like, I don't know what to do about that. Maybe we could do like a little wall panel. Something like, here's the other thing. Whenever I'm doing this stuff, I'm like, am I just overcomplicating this? Am I just making this more difficult than it needs to be? And the answer is probably usually yes. Uh, if this was too wide. Hmm, hang on. Uh, I haven't set color yet. I just wanna see what this looks like if we just do this. Now, I guess the only issue with that is you, you still get the, the space underneath and um, not, not really ideal, is it? <laughs> Uh, okay, hang on. What what else could we do here? Let, let's let's look at Plan B. There's there's got to be some Plan Bs in here. I reckon if we use these windows, well, yeah, they're not as good. If we put, because they're all higher than the windows, so that's fine. Um, if we put those screens over them, ah, oh, but then you're looking out the back. You don't want a screen blocking your view. Uh, because I think that looks strange because every other window is vertical and then those are just randomly horizontal. Ah, oh, man, we're just running into issue after issue. Okay, well, what if we forget this being set back at all, all right? Whoops. And we just go full forward. This house is just getting bigger and bigger now. I mean, it's all the way along. What about that? Now, that kind of looks dumb, though. I don't like the look of that because I, I liked it when I was... You know what? Hang on. Go back to the other windows. I like, I like that, except for this bit. Which I guess we could probably just reduce the size of that so it doesn't cut through the window. There we go. Um, yeah, I like that. That's good. But then, yeah, how do we... Let me know. Let me know how we should solve that. Or if you have a better idea than what I've got here. Uh, <laughs> or, or if you just have a better idea, because you probably do. Uh, then this area, I think this can... Ah, see, I wish this could just be part of... Oh, actually, you know what? I might be able to. Hang on. Let me have a look. We do have a bit of the roof trim coming through. I want... Is that... Is there anything I... No, that's as small as it can be. If we didn't have... Wait, is there a smaller roof trim that we could use that doesn't cut through the wall? Like... Well, the default one doesn't, actually. So if we change this to that same color... Oh, okay. Same color. Which I don't think that's the same color. Maybe it was that one. 
That's probably better anyway. So what if we just did that on all of them anyway? So we can just match them all. Then it also means that they don't... Does it look weird with it? Like, it looks like a really sharp point. Anyway, it means it won't come through the wall in that particular section. So then we can just actually have this open to the whole floor below. I guess the next question is, where are we putting the stairs? <laughs> like, wh where are stairs going in this? I guess probably here somewhere. Maybe we could even put it along this wall, or is that weird with those windows there? And then what stairs are we using? Are we using these stairs? Actually, you know what? That, like, perfectly avoids the windows if we put stairs there. But then it takes up the whole... <laughs> It takes up the whole space. I was just doing double because I was like, uh, the house is pretty big. Surely it should have double stairs, right? But then it seems kind of weird. If any, if we're going to have double stairs, it should be in line with the um, with this. But then that's there too. This whole layout is just getting more and more... I think it's just getting more complex than it needs to be. It's kind of what's happening. Now, what if... No, there's nothing I can do there. Uh, okay. Uh, let's leave that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to change these doors because uh, someone suggested in the comments down below of last part to use these doors as soon as I find them. He Whoops. <laughs> Not like that. This one here. And obviously the matching color scheme. You do we do have a bit of gray on it, but I think that's fine. Because then it sort of at least match. Why is that not? Was that always not painted? Whoops. Um, at least it sort of matches the color scheme and the style of the doors and all that. Um, and then they're still pretty private. Like, even if you stood here, you can see through, but nah, it's probably fine. <laughs> nah, it's probably fine. Now, the question is, do we connect up these two sections? We probably should. I don't know if I was planning on doing that. I guess the questions remain. What is going to be... Obviously, this is the main living area. I think that's quite obvious. Living and probably kitchen and dining. Uh, then we've got infinite space downstairs for activities. Um, like, infinite space. I guess we should... Maybe we should figure out these stairs. Okay, so what... Okay, so we've got a hallway here, hallway there. Right? Basically, the exact same spot. Then, then the flow of people would be through here. You'd walk like that. So really, you don't want the stairs blocking the way. So I'm thinking, what if we just drag it out like this? And then the stairs can be tucked to the side. We don't lose any space. In fact, we gain a little bit of space. It looks effectively the same. Um, we really need to sort out, like, some columns or something down here, maybe. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, we just need to put some stuff down there. Uh, so we do that. It's effectively the same, but then it gets our stairs out of the way, which I'm going to actually have to move. Oh, that's annoying. I have to put them there. Because doing them with one square on a double wide staircase looks stupid, I think. So we have to put it there, which is kind of annoying because it blocks that window. You know what? I might just get rid of that window. We don't, we don't need a window there. And you can't tell from the outside that there's not a window there. Oh, actually you can. Mm, that's sad. <laughs> Maybe we should just leave it. I was going to say, you couldn't really tell. But yeah, you can. Apparently, it's really easy to tell. Uh, all right. That's probably fine. I don't know about these stairs. They look they they look not great, I'll be honest. Uh what about these? That's probably nicer. You know what we need? We need some really nice like, glass stairs in this game. Uh actually you know you know what we do need? Let's get some let's get some lighting in here. Cause then we can sort of start working on color schemes and all that as well. Uh let me not whoops, I got rid of that. Uh well there's no roof there, is there? You know what? These are these are just temporary lights anyway, who cares? It doesn't really matter. Does not really matter. There we go. And we'll sort. We'll obviously sort that out properly later. Whoops. All right. So now we get a little bit of light. We can sort of see what we're working with here. All right. Uh, now the question is: Do we just continue this outdoor floor indoors? Mm, nah. I almost want to do the stone indoors, like some big sort of stone tiles. Uh, but then it, it seems kind of strange that. We could do the marble ones, but I think I almost think that's too fancy. That also doesn't look that good, I'll be honest. It also just doesn't look that good. Um, yeah, I kind of want to do tiles inside. At least in the main living space. Uh, but then, I guess, what kind of tile? How clean do we... Like, I don't want it to look... No, nah, maybe not tiles. No, nah, I think tiles look a little bit soulless. But then I almost think doing the same wood. Not the best idea. Also, it should probably face that way. Because then it sort of directs your eye line that way and sort of continues out. And in which case, we should probably change all of this too. So it just matches and sort of flows through. 
Yeah. So then at least when you're sort of like looking through, oh man, how I wish that these doors could like fully slide open. How good would that be? Um, so as for accessing the outdoors while not ruining the look of the windows, because I the, basically that's, if, if this was just a big door, it'd be fine. But it's not. So we need to just do probably us probably just seeing a door on the side here so you don't really see it. What doors do we use? Oh, we used really big doors, didn't we? Hmm. Damn, these are good doors. It's a good looking doors. Man, they need some more uh they need this door but smaller <laughs> as well. <laughs> uh that'll be good. Alright, so well we can't wait, where's the actual door? Oh, it's just a double door, isn't it? There's no like small oh yeah, I always forget there's no like matching small single door for it. Uh where is the actual matching door? Uh da -da, there we go. It's like I've never played this game before. Oh, I don't like I, this. Looks like it has too much because, like, I guess this one makes up for it by having that section as like the wood, but then this just looks like silver. What about this one? Does this have matching? It does not. Oh, I mean, it's not that far off, but it's also not great. Uh, all right, hmm, right back to the what are these? It's kind of ugly, I'm gonna be honest, but. Wait, which one? Which one matches? Can't tell. That looks too. Okay, I need to put it next to it. That looks too light, so maybe just that one. All right, this will do. Oh, God, it looks so dumb though, doesn't it? <laughs> why? Why do they add a sliding glass door that just doesn't match any other door or window set in the game? Like the color, yeah, the colors match, but I mean like the size and style of the door doesn't match anything. I can't use that. I'm sorry. In good conscience, I can't use that. Uh, I just cannot be allowed to. No, we can't have those door handles. What about this? This might work. Nope, no, it won't. I think I might have to go back to that door. Uh, or we could try these, but then these even don't have matching because they're just completely different. What about this? This will match. Although it has a black frame and a, mm, doesn't really match. Damn. Who knew getting, oh my God, a door to the outside. This wasn't supposed to be the hot. This was the easy part. Does this have a matching? I don't know why the hell this would. <laughs> I mean, it might too. It looks ridiculous. That does not match the style of this house at all. Okay, this. This has got a match. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh. I think I might just have to use these, to be honest, because it's kind of all I can do. Uh, uh, see, now I'm considering maybe we should have made... No, if we make this level taller, it looks dumb, doesn't it? Because I'm going to have to change all the window. I think we looked into that before. I don't mean to say, say that. Is that. We could use those doors and this door would look normal. And it would just solve a lot of problems. But it also doesn't look very good. What about this door? Oh, that's too big. Never mind. <laughs> uh, okay. So we seem to be at a little bit of a uh, an impasse at the moment. Um, what about these? Just why with the frame? Why does the frame have to be ruining everything? No, we tried that, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, look, it's sad. It's a sad state, but there's gonna be there's gonna be a better solution than this. But that's oh god, no! It, the frame stands out so much. So maybe we just have to put it here. Let's use this door, because then at least it sort of matches in with that area. Uh, oh god! But then that no, you can't. I don't want to look at that door though. It like ruins the the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because then you have a nice glass flowing all along there. These doors, I feel like, match in. I hate this. Uh, alright, I just gotta choose something, otherwise you guys are gonna just- You're probably already bored with me. What about- Why don't we use this door that we were using on the other bit? And, oh my god, no, I can't- <laughs> That's an indoor door, I can't use that, I, I just cannot. Uh... I think it's gonna just have to be this- Let's just do this for now. Let- Placeholder door. I feel like that's this episode. Oh, let's just place hold of it. Let's just put that there as a place. Let's just, you know, we'll come back to it. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, now, do we do different wood flooring on the inside or should we keep it the same? I guess we'll keep it the same. Anyway, I'm going to leave this. So let, let's plan out. Let's at least get the floor plan done. Um, and then actually I'll do the, I think the, that's these rails. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then I just want to get the matching. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to put those on the inside. Whoops. Uh, just for those stairs. Uh, this area, I guess, will be pretty much open. Um, we'll probably do kitchen around here, kitchen, dining, and then living space there. Through into here, I guess we've got to decide what this room is supposed to be. 
Oh, actually, we should get stairs downstairs. Uh, which, where are they gonna go? Maybe they could go in here. Although, we gotta, if we got a hallway here... Oh, you know what? We could probably get them there. Let's try that. Because if we line it up with that door, that could be quite good, actually. And then that sort of creates a nice sort of room divide. Uh, for these two spaces. And then it's sort of... Yeah, maybe not nice. Maybe nice is not the right term. It needs to be further this way, or further that way, but I can't really get it. Either of those. What if I do this? Now, our privacy wall is shrinking. Whoops. That was not supposed to happen. I guess the other thing i got to be aware of is that I'm not turning this house into a stair house and there's just stairs everywhere. Oh god, this- yeah, I forgot this- because this wall is so tall. Also, yeah, that, that it has to at least be there because if we put it there, <laughs> there will be one tile there. Alright, so let's say that's there. But my thing is now, you just see straight down there. I don't like that. What do we put a wall there? But then we're just sort of dividing the space up unnecessarily. I'm just trying to I'm just- I just want to create a private environment. Maybe I'm too obsessed with that. I mean, it is The Sims, it doesn't actually matter. Is that dumb? Looks dumb down here because the wall doesn't go all the way along. Actually, I mean, this will probably be a hallway anyway, so I might- Might have just closed most of that off. Um... Okay, so let's say it does that. Uh, I mean, that's not the worst, it's just not the best. So basically, this turns into a hallway, this is obviously a hallway area there. I don't know what that's gonna be. A random nook. And then, so if you wanted to get to the kitchen, you'd have to do something like this. Or we'd do a doorway there, but I don't know, I wouldn't- I probably wouldn't put a doorway there. I'd probably just have, you'd probably just have to walk around. Which would be annoying. I don't know, because, well, okay, you stand here, it's pretty good, it's pretty private. Maybe we just, but the, that's, because we can't really put, the, where else, okay, where else can we put the stairs? There's a doorway there. My nose is running. I'm just like, this is just going so well today. Uh, what if we put it here? What about that? Because then it's on the side of the room, it's not cutting it in half. This could still be like a foyer area. This whole area here could be just one section. So the two doors sort of are in the same area. That might be better because then it's not chopping the whole room in half. If we go back up here, uh, we extend this again just a little bit. You know what? Maybe I'll just take it to, so it matches that wall. And then, so then that sort of funnels people in this direction. So you'd either go like this and go up like that, or you go here, you go down like that, or you go here and you go like that, or you go here and you go like this to this area. Uh, I think that's quite good, because then that gives us a nice big wall for a kitchen. Like, like, just like before, kitchen here, maybe island there, and then dining area. Although, actually, you know what, that, that wall, no, we need to take that wall back, just because it actually makes this... Actually, this... <sighs> yeah, see, now the problem, <laughs> the problem, uh, no, I think, no, if we, okay, we'll do this instead. Kitchen on this wall, not that wall. Kitchen here, island, dining, because then you still have space here. For a living area. You know what? It's a giant space. It'll probably be fine. Let's go with that for now. <laughs> Through here, this could just be like, this could either be, uh, it could be a couple things. Home office, it could be a bedroom, it could be whatever. Uh, upstairs, we obviously have landing area, which by the way, probably should just be extended because it looks kind of weird. Also, that's a very small walkway. I might want to change that. I might do this. Like that. Um, get rid of that. Why is that floor back now? Not quite sure about that. Why, why is this also not a room now? There we go. Oh, okay, now it is. Okay. All right. So yeah, I might actually have to extend that a little bit. But anyway, for now it would be like that because I mean it makes no sense having all that floor there unless we were to turn it into a landing. But I don't think I will. So this. Could be the most inconvenient bedroom, or it could be... Maybe that could be the office up the top instead, so it's even more removed and quieter space there. Then maybe that makes this the master bedroom. And then this is completely detached at the moment, so the question is, do we just connect it through? Do we... Uh, leave it separate, make it something completely different? Coming downstairs, let's figure out the layout here. So I think you come down these stairs... Well, obviously you come down these stairs. Uh, and then... Let's go like this. So... Obviously where all these windows are, we want to use all this space. Uh, so what we could do, maybe something like this. 
might turn that into like maybe that could be a bathroom downstairs. Although it's a little far away, I think. Uh, do I? I don't know if I wanted to wall this in like this, but apparently I am for now. Uh, now the issue is the stairs really should go the other way uh, because. We've now, what we've done, we've created a situation where the hallway has windows and none of the rooms do, which is really stupid. <laughs> which is really stupid because you want it the other way around. You want all the rooms to have windows and the hallway not to. If you have, if you have to decide something that doesn't have windows, ideally the hallway. So let's say this is the hallway here, for example. That's a room. I guess this has to be a hallway. Those stairs are honestly providing, not providing, causing so many issues. I think we need to move them again. See, I would say, I would say we go underneath these, which is probably the best solution. So maybe we just do that. Maybe just build a room down here. Just extend that bit. Because that just makes so much more sense. And we can stack the stairs over here. We don't have to take up so much room. Oh, it's not going to let me seek downward in the right spot, which is kind of annoying. Uh, okay, let me do this. Go there. Go there. I have to extend that bit a little bit, but that's fine. All right, that, and then we just get the living room back. All right, that's better. Okay, then we've got to figure out this whole space down the bottom here, because this, this is getting messy now. All right, so let's get rid of this, get rid of that. Just turn the grid back on so I can see. This will come along. Just one more, because we, we want a nice landing for the stairs at the bottom. Uh, I mean, that wall doesn't need to be there, but I guess it just continues that down. So here's the thing. I'm going to be cutting off some areas kind of like this, I guess. And we probably won't use that for anything. So it'll just be like an empty space. But for the outside, it makes it look nice. Um, okay. So that comes down. Then hallway, at least too wide. Probably wider in some parts. Maybe we even go to here all the way along. Whoops. Don't know how I managed to do that. Bring that back. Get rid of that. I don't like all this like weird different shape going on down here. I'm, not, I'm like, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Uh, so I probably would want to maybe cut that off or at least we can turn that into like a little inset area that we could do some decoration in or something. All right, so then that can go to here. Then we get this giant room, which could be divided up like this or something or whatever. This will obviously come through here. Now I'm actually kind of thinking that these two wide hallways are almost too small. At least maybe in the back, maybe the back one should be bigger just cause it's like the main the space. Felt kind of small. So do something, whoops, do some, there we go. Do something like that, and then that can come all the way along to there, I guess. I don't know, why do we have that? I, I'm not sure. We don't have it anymore. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't know why that's there. It's just creating an issue. Uh, all right, uh, I mean, we could turn it into a bathroom if we want. It just seems kind of small, uh, like if we did a two by three. Like, I don't know, that seems like a small size bathroom for this house now. All right, so that that's better because that creates like uh, access for all these areas. Now we could either do another hallway like this, or we could just have that go directly into another room. The, the thing is, the more hallways you create, the the less nice it becomes. You know what? We could just do this. Why don't we just do something like this? Have this whole area here open where these two doors are for now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. No, I don't know if I like that. But then the problem is you do this and it's just like, well, now it just seems strange that you've just got these two doors, separate hallways. Maybe this one cannot be a hallway. Although that's where the stairs are. But then that one, mm, maybe this one's not a hallway. Maybe this goes through some other room, like another sitting room or something like that. Because just creating more hallways is not always a great idea. I guess that also doesn't need to be like that. Because I don't think we'll use that. And if we do, I don't think it needs to be a hallway. If this is like another sitting area or something, uh, just creating hallways everywhere is just unnecessary. Especially if you want to make it a little bit feel a little bit more open than it would do otherwise. Uh, I guess we gotta, we got to get a list of rooms that we actually want slash need. So we do need bedrooms for obviously... Uh, so this is my super sim challenge. I need a bedroom for Max and whoever his partner <laughs> happens to be at the time. So just a master bedroom, which I think will probably either be one of these. Then we need a bedroom for his kids because he just had twins. So either two bedrooms or just one bedroom. That could either go, maybe maybe we turn it into this one here or it could be somewhere down the bottom where there's like loads of room. Uh, I don't know, this, this requires some some thought. Now, the other thing is, if I were to turn this into a connected 
little section like this it means we'd have to turn this into a hallway to make that a room uh, and then I guess we don't need a door there so cause that, whoops cause that's just unnecessary so if we remove that wall uh, remove that wall oh okay just do that and then what if we did this so then this door would go here and then these do the same sort of windows on this like split part just because I don't know kind of cool I don't want to do windows all the way along because I think that'd be too much I just like doing them there because it lets you see through and then it almost feels like there's two there's still two separate parts which I kind of wanted them to be like that because that's what it looked like in the original uh, and then up top I guess that's just I could even just do the roof the same oops well can I not rotate why can't I rotate it isn't it just a floor tile there we go that's weird Something like that. I mean, it doesn't look exactly the same, but whatever. Uh, also, when did my floor trim on this change? Or did I never set this floor trim? Maybe I never set it. Floor trim, floor trim. Gonna change the floor trim. Good enough. Oh, I did set it, because it's down here. I don't know, maybe it changed at some point. Um, okay, so then that could work. Uh, so maybe this one's the master bedroom then. And we could even, if we extend back a little bit, because we got a bit of room from below, you can see where the wall goes to. If we did this, let's bring it back, do it like that, bring the roof back as well. Then that means we also, oh, I never changed that. It means we also have more room in here to do ensuite bathroom. And then maybe this is the other bedroom. That could work actually quite well. And then there's obviously living space. So two bedrooms there. I mean, uh, yeah. No, we can't really do Well, we can divide it, but it'd be kind of dumb. Uh, so we could just do two bedrooms there. I guess there's not going to need a bathroom nearby. But I don't know where that would go. Uh, and then downstairs, I don't know, like, there's a lot of space. Now, I believe there's suggestions to do, like, an indoor swimming pool so we could swim during the winter or other seasons or whatever, which I guess we could do in here. We've got plenty of space. Uh, we could also do, like, a spa. We also need, like, all of the sort of activity rooms, uh, just of stuff that we can do and stuff that we've unlocked. Like, we could even create, like... I don't know, like a rocket laboratory somewhere like we had in one of his original houses as well. Um, I don't know. I think that'll probably be good for now because I kind of want to get feedback on the general layout. So kind of basically what we did with the foyer, I think this needs to be bigger. This, this is too small, that, that sort of little gap. I mean, it can be like that. Oh, that feels too cramped though. No, it's going to go the other way. It's going to go this way. Uh, I'll move the roof. Don't, don't you worry. Yeah, we don't, we don't need a roof there anyway, that's fine. Okay, so if we do that, then we get two, and then this is a bit smaller. So I this will probably be good as an office. I think this will probably be like an office, or it could be like a music studio, like with instruments and that. Or whatever, I don't know, some sort of... I mean, we don't even need a wall. Uh, there's probably no, no point having a wall there, is there? Because if it's not going to be a bedroom... Yep, there's a, we need a wall there, so we're going to put a wall there. <laughs> uh, well, what we can do is... We could do like arches along here or something. Uh, I don't know if that looks stupid. Oh, you know what? It should probably line up with the windows. Does that have the same color frame? Ooh. But then I think maybe doing that makes it look a little bit darker. We might leave it as more modern. I don't know. It probably won't have arches there. But anyway, this could be like a little office or like a little studio or something up the top. Uh, just like a little, almost like a little loft space up top here. And then, I don't know, hot tub could go out here. That could be kind of cool up on that balcony. Uh, and then, oh God. My nose is like all stuffed up from moving. There's been so much dust kicked up lately, like from the old place and then moving in. And then it's just like, my nose is just like, it's all over the place. I apologize. I feel like, I'm, I feel like I'm like that in every video because whenever I record, I've always been like traveling or doing something. I've always, and then I'm just like, when I finally get back to recording, I'm like, okay, now I'm sick. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's upstairs. Downstairs, you know, let's get some lights down here. It looks kind of sad. This is a really big room, which I don't really know what to do with. Uh, this is our, I guess, main foyer hallway thing down here uh this so this could be like an indoor pool area this could be who knows what it could be i don't know uh we definitely need a bathroom down here but i think you know what this right here is probably a great spot for a bathroom really big nice spot we could definitely put some windows in there too so it's not so closed off uh and then that sort of gives us a smaller hallway area which is even better because you know, again you don't really want it that big uh so that can go there um I mean, maybe that could be a room, and then this is a separate room, So then, because that's a weird, huge room, and then you can still have that door there. I wonder if, can we get a, um, is there a three wide, there's three wide archways, right? 
But it's very curved, which doesn't suit this house at all. I don't really want to curve. Why are there no, like, other medium archways that aren't, like, curvy? They're all curvy. The only other one, the only square one is that one. I mean, look, I guess we could just open it and just have it in this area and then just do, like, columns or something just to, like, at least maybe kind of make it separate a little, like, visually separate. I don't know. Something like that. So then this can be, like, a sitting area. This can be, I don't know, some skill room. That can be something. It could also be turned into bedrooms at some point, bathroom. Uh, that could be the indoor pool area. So maybe we just do this. Uh, they I wish I could sit next to each other. They can't, though. Uh, do we want to have space around the entire pool, or do we want it to be, like, against the wall? I think against the wall is kind of strange, because you wouldn't typically do that. Maybe something like that. It's not, like, very big, but then it allows you to have a door at the front here, and then maybe one here, so they sort of connect easily. I don't know. Maybe not like that at all. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and then once we've sort of locked down the layout, we can start choosing- I don't, oh, oh yeah, also let me know about the flooring. I don't know what to do with the flooring. Maybe she, I, I don't know if it's- Like, I like the idea of it being a continuous floor, but then I don't know if I really like that idea. Then I don't know what else it would be. Because you, you wouldn't want to carpet the whole place. That's strange. We can carpet the bedroom for sure, but like... I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below, but thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.